Hello and welcome. This is Ghost Dimension. Coming up on Ghost Dimension. I thought this place was going to be nice and gentle and easy because it's a museum. Obviously not. That was up there. No. Oh my god. Ooh, 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 that's rare. Tonight we've been invited to investigate one of Leeds' most iconic buildings. Staff members believe to be haunted by a mummified priest who died in 1100 BC, among many other reported hauntings. May he rest in peace. as we investigate four floors of terror at the Leeds Museum, which has never been investigated before. The museum originally established in 1819 and housed in the former Mechanics Institute has now become a museum, which houses artifacts and items from around the world. Reports are rife of paranormal activity at the museum, with staff purporting to witness footprints seemingly appearing on their own, and an eerie feeling coming from the ancient world area on floor three. Ghostly figures have been witnessed wandering the floors by staff when all of the visitors have left. Are the spirit people connected to the building, or have they arrived with the artefacts that reside here? Before we begin to investigate the museum, we meet Richard, who works here, to find out more about the museum's hauntings. Richard, tell us a bit about the history of this building. Well, the building itself was um, completed in 1862 and it opened as the Mechanics Institute in 1868, which one of the, the main body call space was, was the theatre, lecture theatre. Um, and then in 1949, it became the Civic Theatre. Yeah. And then obviously in 2008, the City Museum. So wow. it's had quite a few incarnations mm -hmm. and quite a lot of different things going on. Quite a number of people have come through. And obviously you tie that in with the museum itself and the objects in the museum and the first museum was done by the Leeds Film Lit Society in 1829 so there's quite a lot of history yeah. going on. Mm. Have you had a personal experience other than the footsteps at all in this building? Um, just the occasion, the, the noises where you, you've gone to investigate, you hear a loud crash and you think well sat and stuff is wrong with another. Mm. So you've gone down and it's, mm. it's been really cold. Um, Unexplained reasons, really, and the also I've had stops. Other staff have told me things I've seen, mm. like the people on the balcony where there's, where one of the seats is that they've seen somebody stood there, roughly about the same time. Not every mm. day, but yeah. it's it's appeared more than once. What time does that happen? Usually around three thirty, four thirty in the afternoon. That staff can just suddenly see somebody stood by one of the seats. So uh, at the top, oh. on the balcony, yeah, in the, the water call. Wow. So do you think with the artifacts that come into the museum, they bring something? Um, not being an expert, but mm. certainly things do appear to happen, particularly around in, in this area where we have the West Yorkshire Hoard, orbs mm. have been seen on the cameras. Oh wow. wow. Um, so we've not been able to explain that. We've looked at it. It's very difficult because they just drift past. Mm. Yeah. Um, so I think obviously there's a connection between objects and, and, and what's gone before. Yeah. Mm. And because we do such, and we go back, we've gone 3,000 years with the, the Egyptian woman, obviously he was the keeper of the bulls, he dealt yeah. with the sacrifice, the animals, the sacrifices. So there's all sorts of different types of history going on when you come down to the lead. So you yeah. look at the, mm. some of the objects from the First World War and the Second World War. So, yeah, I think it's... And the, the mummy's like 3,000 years old mm. and it was a priest. Yes, yeah. yeah. So is that one of the oldest items in this building, or is the it? It is, yeah. I mean, we're housed in like, like <clears throat> 2500 BC, I think, mm. for some of the some of them. So there's there quite a few. Yeah. Wow. Um, it's, it's very it's such a long list. We have such a varied collection. There's yeah. so many things going on. Yeah. How do you feel when you have a personal experience? Um, Usually it doesn't bother me. Sometimes yeah. I think if you're in a large area mm. and you know you're on your own, the nearest person's here, so you might be on the lower yeah. ground floor there up on the third floor. That's kind of a little bit sometimes when you feel isolated. 
Inside the museum sleeps a mummified priest, Nessia Moon, also known as the Leeds Mummy. Nessia Moon was a priest, incense bearer and a scribe at the ancient Egypt temple complex of Karnak and died over 3,000 years ago. He's been recognised as one of the most remarkable mummies in Britain. It was now time to meet our psychic medium Lee and see what he sensed was haunting the museum. Lee, welcome back to Ghost Dimension. Thank you. You are uh, a resident medium to the team because you've been with us before and you come and help us out. And, and it's a fantastic location that we've come to tonight. This is Leeds Museum. Um, you've never been here before? No, nope, this is a first for me. It's a first for you. We've come in and we've had a, a walk around and we've switched the cameras on. Are you feeling anything? Uh, yes, in this particular area, as soon as I came in earlier on on the walk around, um, I was made aware of a young boy, I would say, probably no older than 11, and he gave me his name as Christopher. Oh, right, okay. Um, he's quite playful, there's nothing negative, he just, mm. he sort of pops in, um, sort of plays peekaboo, and off he goes. Off he goes. Yeah. Would he be a figure that some of the staff members may have seen? Definitely. He likes to run around, he'll make himself known. Um, I feel that he tucks people's jackets and things like that just to get attention. How yeah. would he have died? Um, he's not given me that information as yet. Hopefully mm. I may get that as I go along. But I do feel that he's more in visitation here mm. than, than grounded here. When you say he's in visitation, is that because he um, may be attached to one of the items out here? Definitely, yeah. I yeah. think that's probably the biggest possibility, is that he's, he's come here with maybe some of the artefacts that have been brought in. If you were to be able to hold an artefact, would you be able to sense which one it would be? Possibly. Yeah. Oh, All right, okay. okay. So maybe later on. I mean, yeah, we there's could do that. lots yeah. of items. If you see anything that draws you, yeah. Yeah. stop us and... Stop us and take it. We'll go, we'll go to it. Mm. Yeah. Are you drawn to anywhere else in this building? Um, there is one particular area um, on the upper floor right. that I'm quite drawn to as okay. well. There's some interesting things up there. Right. Wow, okay. Well, maybe we should move on to a different area and see yeah. if you sense anything into, into the other areas where activity has been reported. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Good to me. Excellent, let's go. As I've actually walked into this area now, um, I've been made aware of the little boy mm. previously. Mm. He's kind of peeking out at us and watching to see where we're going. Christopher. So yeah, he's keeping an eye on us. Oh. Whereabouts is he? He's just through where we've just come from. Down there? Yep. Should oh, we head over let's there? Let's go and have a look, see if we can yeah. see him. Do you think we as non-mediums would be able to sense him and pick him up, maybe feel him or I think you sense a uh, cold? Definitely hear him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he, he runs around quite loud. Right. Um, he also, like, like I mentioned before about tugging on people's yeah. Jackets and yeah. things. Um, it's definitely possible that you you would pick him pick up. Pick him up, yeah. Hopefully, we'll pick him up on a camera tonight when we do alone. So is, is this boy still here now? Is he watching us now? He's aware of us. Right. He's um, he's not actually like he was before. He was kind of peeking from around the door. Yeah. yeah. Now he's kind of stepped back because we're going towards him. He's aware that we're going right. towards him now. So he's kind of. So he's just taking a back seat. He's, he's kind of playing um, cat and mouse with us. Oh. So how do you see him? Do you see him like we see each other? or? No, what, what I actually hologram? saw was, um, I saw in my mind's eye, it was like the outline of him. Right. And then he wasn't giving me very much at first. It was like he kind of closed himself up to me. Mm. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it was like, you know, you go from a black and white television to a colour. Yeah. It was like that and it just it hit me and then it gave me this mental image of him. Oh. Did you, did you hear that? Yeah, I heard this noise then. That's I saw weird. a flash of light as you were saying that up there. And then I heard somebody go, shh. I thought I heard like a whimper. Yeah. It was from back there. What's around the corner there? Uh, Should we go and have a look? I've been made aware of a male as well. Really? In this area. A male? A top, like a top hat, cane, suit. I would say late 60s. Quite quite a proud man yeah but he's just sort of floated in as well i wasn't aware of him before but he's could just he, be the, he could be the man that just brought this growl energy in possibly this one feels a little bit more i wouldn't say negative but 
quite grumpy. So it's, does growling denote bad, or is it just making you aware of their presence? Sometimes it can be negativity. It's there to sort of intimidate you right. and make you aware. Mm. Um, I don't class it all as negativity. Mm. Sometimes it can be like them clearing, you know, like a noise of somebody yeah. clearing them throat, yeah. clearing the throat, or just a cough, something like that. But God. it just it, it depends on the location <clears throat> as well, you know. Yeah. Uh, it depends who you pick up on. Some of them will do it in a threatening manner mm. and try Someone. and sort of provoke you and mm. get a reaction from you. Whereas others, they're just merely clearing the throat. Mm. Okay. As uh, Lee was speaking, then I heard a male voice. It sounded like it was in the hall. Yeah, it was. It was definitely in the hall. It was like, oh. the people on sound there, you can hear it. You picked her up, Jay. Yeah. Mental. Okay. Lee, where would you like to go now? Yeah. Um, if we could go to the the very top floor. Sounds yeah. good to me. Let's go. Let's go. In an unusual twist, as we head upstairs, we pass the locked toilet, which we find the hand dryer running. No one was in the toilet to set this off. Just, yeah. Listen. There you yeah. go. Get a boom next to there, Jay. Can you hear that? So the hand dryer in the women's toilet, which is locked, is going off, on and off, by itself. It's out of order. Do that again, one more time. It's louder. Do you want us to stay tonight? Do it again if you do. This just happened while we were just talking, so we headed straight over. I've got a key. Are you friendly? Something might be in there. <laughs> oh, well, that's quite scary, isn't it? The lights are off. You have to put your hand, hand underneath. Yeah. Lee, do you sense anything in here? I think somebody's um, playing tricks on us here. They were um, trying to get attention. Could which it be I think would be the, yeah, yeah, definitely the little boy. It's a little he's boy. The, he's the one that likes the attention. Oh. He would be the right height as well. Yeah. For the dryer. Yeah, which is one of the ones where you physically have to put your hands underneath yeah. to. So if, because he's spirit, can he still, you know, affect that and, and make that go up? Definitely, yeah. So it would, it would sense him? Yeah. Well. Wow. So he's got a lot of energy in him. Oh yeah, he has a lot of energy. There you go again. That's weird. I must say that is the first yeah. the ghost dimension. Can we come and see it? Can you? Yeah, I'll come out and have a look. That's really, really good. Oops. Can you do it again for us? On command. Thank you very much. Okay. Richard, we, we came down here and we called you up just to verify what the problem is in this room, why it's locked off. Mm -hmm. Is because of the tap isn't it? Yeah it's because of the uh, tap there's something with the water heater and it's causing it to to warm a funny colour so we uh, currently close the toilets. So the hand dryer is totally new? Uh, well it's, it's the hand dryer was in when we when No but it's a totally new experience to that going off. Oh I mean it's got it's not new as in it's never happened before it's happened. So before. it's a no. Oh so it's happened before? Yeah yeah but right. not as not as much as this. That's weird. Moment. This is bizarre you know we've been up and down doing pieces of camera all all day mm. and then just as we did this we heard this no noise yeah yeah it's not i say it happens periodically yeah. yeah but not to the extent like it's just been doing it now for yeah. some reason it's doing it a lot more i don't know why you oh. just fetch me up here so i don't know what's been yeah well okay. I'll, I'll look forward to see what else we can experience yeah. should be good seems to have stopped <laughs> Well, totally stop, long. stop now, that'll do. <laughs> yeah. Wasting energy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was great to learn that this was not a one off occurrence and that it had happened before. We now head to our next destination on floor three, the ancient world. Lee, up here, um, you said that this man, possibly from downstairs, comes up here. 
Definitely. He has uh, free roam of the entire building. Yeah. Um, he's the one that gave me the name of uh, Cuthbert Broderick. Is that his name? That's his name. Wow. Um, he described himself, well, what I saw was him wearing a, like a top hat, yeah. with a suit and a cane. Mm -hmm. Um, I believe he moves freely around the building and his energy is quite strong in this area as well. What type of energy has he got? Can he move stuff? Can he make voice noises? He will... Can he touch people? He will make himself known. He's yeah. quite audible. Um, he can use his voice. He'll, I think you'll get little whistles as well from him. What? Things like that. Okay. So, so we that possibly could have heard them already? Because we've possibly. been hearing lots As the lights go down later as well, I think... I heard that then. Mm. Yeah. It's over there, yeah. As you were talking about it, bang, yeah. it's happened. As the, um, as the lights go down later on, you'll experience a different feel completely to this level as right. well, so that should be interesting mm -hmm. for you. Yeah. So would I be in any danger if I did a loan by Nessie Ammon? I wouldn't say you'd be in danger as such, right. but you may experience knocks, bangs, right. maybe even a growl. I feel in this building, there is somebody who is mischievous and that's what the staff um, have reported as well because they're saying that he, they're doing stuff and then something's happening. Are you sensing anybody yeah, mischievous? Yeah, this is the, um, the child from before, Christopher. Right. He likes to do things with the cleaners' um, buckets and things oh. as well, I believe. Right. He's, okay. he's like he's showing me, um, you know, they've got the vacuums and stuff and yeah. they, they switch it on at the wall and he'll go and he'll... Unplug he'll, it. He'll, mm -hmm. Well, he'll press the... The switch on the wall and turn it off, things like that. Little mischievous things oh, just to yeah. just to get attention. Excellent. With so many reports of activity at the museum and with Lee sensing spirits, added together with the instant activity, Sean and I head to the first floor to investigate the Voices of Asia room. So we are now in the Voices of Asia room. Yes. We've got this uh, device here called the Alice Box. Alice Box. Um, Two REM pods. Two REM pods dotted about. One REM pod just in there by the drum, and one down here um, by this magnificent door. It is really, really good. So, if anything at all is in here, yeah. we should be able to sense it, pick mm -hmm. it up, and see what we get. The Alice box um, comes out with words and sentences, so. We'll ask the spirits in here to communicate with us, and if they can, uh, hopefully they'll put a word on the Alice box. It has at the minute, it's just put a word on there. Skin. Skin. So, there's a big beautiful door here, which mm. is, if you can see at the back, it's from Asia. And we'll call our back, see what we get. Yeah. Is there anybody here with us right now? Can you come forward and speak to us, speak to us through this box, this machine that we have? Tell us if you are actively walking around this building. Young. young. I said young. Are you here? Can you speak to us or communicate with us? You said skin and young. Tell us your story. Pull. Pull. Do you okay. think... Okay. You're going to pull us? Okay. Pitch black in here. Yeah, I've got you to talk because see thing. I can't see a thing. This room's got a very nice feel to it when yes. you come in in the daytime. Lovely. It's lovely and warm, isn't um, it? We've not been in it at night time. This is our first venture in. And I must say it's very cold. Isn't it? it is, it's a uh, colder atmosphere than yeah. the rooms. Okay, let's go silent and see if we can get a noise. Yeah, okay. yeah? yeah. So, is there any spirits in this room? Can you make us a noise? Let us know whether you're here. That was. Hello? Can, are you going to pull us? All night I've been hearing stuff. It's not let us down at all. This just proves that this room is active. Try that. Yeah, yeah, like a breathy noise. Mm. 
it's um it's active just trace trace so the Alice box is now said trace it's a pull trace do you want us to trace trace your footsteps yeah trace the footsteps that you once walked or you walk every day that was up there Okay, we'll keep going. Are we going in the right direction? Did you hear that fuzzy? Oh! What the freaking heck is that? TPE. I don't know what TPE means. What does TPE mean? Was it you tapping? <clears throat> Did you hear that? Just shine that torch down there. Is there anybody in here with us? I heard that. I really did. I really, really did hear that. That was a rumble. Is that what you've been hearing all night? Yeah. Can I push on the torch on that? I'm just going to put this down here for one second. We can still see it. <coughs> so it's hard, get, we, isn't it? Yeah. Let's try something. Let's, let's test this. Let's test this. Make a noise in three, two, one. You ready? Three, two, one. Tap, tap, by our feet. It's a creak in there. What the hell's that? Okay, copy this noise as well. <laughs> oh, it's gone blow. Study. study. Are you studying us? What is that? I don't know. Study. Study the photos. Are you on one of these photos? God, did you hear that again? Study this photo over here. Something over here. Is this where you lived? What? I feel like we should walk around it. We've not walked around it and I feel feel like it's trying to pull us away from something or show us something. That's Such a different feel to the to the night, isn't it? Yeah. Than the day. It really is. <clears throat> Don't think I'll ever get used to this. Whoa, 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 that's a rem. That's just it's gone. Show that. The boys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could hear lots of creaks, bangs and noises. However, when we played this footage back, we could hear what sounds like chanting. Was this a spirit form of communication? Whoa, 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 that's a rem. That's it, it's gone. Did you hear that? Boys? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quieter over here. It is quieter over here. Oh, look. Let's <clears throat> Can you tap on this glass? Hello? That sounded like it was right beside you. That was beside me. That was tap, tap, tap. Hello? Tap, tap. That was three taps. Hello, can you communicate? Again, thank you for tapping. Oh, God. Looks like there was a shadow over there then. No, it wasn't. Have you noticed? The Alice box. It's gone quiet. It's gone quiet. Let's go over and see if it says something. Because it said over. study. Yeah. We've looked around and we've not seen anything. We've not identified Alice? who you are. Are you going to, can you affect the Alice box? No way. No. So we come over. No way. What is it about here? I don't know. So Please do not touch. There's something in here. I heard that. There's something in here with us. Necessary, it it's said. It's the chair. It's the chair. It is the chair, isn't it? <clears throat> Oh, 
Bex. I've got an idea. I'll walk around, go straight back, and see if it makes a noise. Spin. Spin. Whoa. And you know what that is, Bex? What? It's a loop, isn't it? No, I'm not staying on my own. I'm only going to walk around. I'll no. be straight back. You ready? Let's see if anything happens. Stay there. I won't be upset. Brad. It's a Brad. Brad. Ready? I'm coming. I've done a spin. Now do something again for us. I've done a spin. I can't believe it. Right. Fuck. Jesus. Oh Did you hear that? That was like somebody was following you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you see anything? No. Nothing. That actually sounded like, what is that in that? Is that like a tub over there? Is that, is that a tub? It's like a chest, isn't it? That could have been a thud. Yeah. Looks like Brad? Brad, did you own one of these artifacts? And you've since passed? And you come and visit it? Brad's a very, very, um... Active and... No, it's a very modern name. Modern isn't American it? as well. Yeah. So maybe he owned one of these artifacts, brought it in, or it was moved to the Leeds Museum. Yeah. And he's since. Oh, 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 oh. What? 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 Closet. <gasps> closet. The only thing that looks like a closet in here is over there. Let's go over. Is this? <clears throat> I've, I've I've not had a location like this for a long time. You know that makes you feel a bit weary. Yeah. And it does. It what? really does. What does that say on there? What is this? I don't know. Let's go to it. That's me. Doors. Okay. It's just doors from a, a train centre. Whoa, whoa. Initial. Initial. Let me spin around again. Oh, okay. Story. story. Would you like to tell us your story, Brad? You spin round. I'll spin round. Stay there. Yeah. What story would you like to tell us? Oh my God, is that red going on? Yeah, as I went past it, it went off. I don't know if it was me right. or if it was... The rampart going off on its own. I think it could have been me. Okay, so we have Brad, we have a story, we have spin. I think it's somebody connected to one of these artifacts. In this building? Yeah. Or maybe in this room? Yeah. And that's where he comes in. And I think it was a Brad. Yeah, I think complete. You know. Shh, shh, shh. That was a footstep in here. Do that footstep for us, please, so we can hear it. Bang. Do you know what I think we should do? Mm. Investigate more. The voices of Asia Room did not disappoint, and Sean and I decided to head off into our lone vigils to see what else we could encounter. Um, as I came in, I'll, let me show you first what I've got. So, just there, you can see I have a REM pod, and this is, can't show you too much, but that doorway there is where the mummy rests. I also have a device sitting there that if it goes green, um, it's positive, if it goes red, it's negative, and I also have the ovulus, which has just said tree. So I'm on my lone vigil. I'm starting off in the Life on Earth section. You can see there's the infamous uh, Bengal tiger here, which is quite famous to this museum and the locals petition to keep that. So let's go inside and see what we can find out. In here, there's lots of animals uh, that have been brought here, bones, stuff like that, fish, monkeys. I'll tell you a few of them as I go around. But what I'm going to tell you now, so you know what happens, just in case anything does happen, I've got a few things set up in here. So, I have keys jangling, bizarrely. 
which is strange for this room. We probably picked that up on the audio. This is a shadow detector, which goes down to there, which is that light you can see. And there's also a REM around here as well, a REM pod on there. Now, if the um, spirits come towards the REM pods, which being uh, spirits of animals, potentially they would be interested. There's a little buzzing, I don't know what it is. I'm gonna spin you around for a minute. So I've picked this room to come and investigate because as I've been walking around the whole building, it, I just want to keep coming back to this place. I don't know what it is about it, but it's just, it's drawing me towards. And when I turned the lights off before, before I started filming, I heard a scratching noise. It made me a little bit uneasy and I thought, have I picked the right place? But I have, and I'm gonna do it for you guys. So, is there anybody here? No. Oh my God. Shit. Well, that's not meant to happen, is it? Video? Yes. Look, video. That's where the mummy rests. There, and the REM pod's just gone off. And this says video. Now over here I've got another REM pod. Which is bizarre, it's just gone off. Actually, that's weird. There's a monkey inside of there and a gorilla. And then a monkey was in a hotel. I can hear another REM. I'm just trying to... I could hear a REM pod and a bang then as well. I can't find where the other REM pod is. There is another REM pod in here, which is really, really bizarre that these noises are happening and the REM pods are going off. And bang again, there should be nobody here. People are investigating the building. Bex is upstairs investigating the building, should I say. And if you listen, it's so quiet. This monkey, which you can see, over here was in a, another uh, hotel. This is a male, it was a female, and the female, di uh, female died, and the male um, died of a broken heart. I'm only here. Oh, oh, hello? Hello? <gasps> Loud? Am I too loud for a museum? Should I keep a little bit more quiet? Right, okay, let me just explain something. Red is negative, green is positive, yeah? So that's just gone green, and then over there, I heard a, no a, a, a bang of a door. This has just gone red, and red is behind me where I'm hearing the clicks, okay? This said loud. Is that because I'm too being too loud? This is mental. Oh shit. Click again over there. Hello? So, uh, I'll take you around also so you can see what else I'm having to see in here. I know I am not alone. I feel that already. You see. I've got birds here. I'm just sorry I'm stuttering. As I'm walking, there's something following me. I could feel it and I could hear tiny little footsteps. I don't know if you can see any of these objects in here. Some bones of somebody there. I'll show you what else I've got. I've got a tiger inside here. Luckily, if these do come to live, at, come alive at, at night time, luckily for me, they are locked up. Hopefully, it's not like a movie that we all know, where when the museum closes, all of the animals come to live, uh, to life at night. And there's the bones of uh, 
a really big animal. Okay, let's see if we can get somebody, something or somebody um, to interact with us. If you're in here, anybody that wants to communicate or any animal, if you can understand me, I've got devices and if you go near them, they will go off or just come over, use your voice and speak to me or make an animal noise, you know, growl or, or make whatever noise it is that you can. Or if there's anybody in here that is attached to these animals and maybe the animals aren't here and you just want to communicate, please do so and come forward. Okay, thank you. That was um, a tap over here. <coughs> Can you do that again for me? Another noise? This is mental, this amount of um, paranormal activity as soon as... Story? Do you want to tell me your story? It's pitch black, you can't see. So I'm going to spin it round so you guys can see because I don't want to miss you to miss anything. Are you going to tell me your story? Can you make that, that REM pod go off again? Look at this. Look. <gasps> no. No. What's that noise? Bike. Bike. Somebody's there. Worm. Everything seems to have gone quiet for some reason. Hello? Are you there? Can he make... If you go towards these lights on the floor, they will go off. Making noise and they'll also make pretty little lights that you can see. Are you here? I'm only here to communicate with you. I'm not here to cause you any harm. Okay, I'm going to make a noise. I want to see if you can copy my noise. Can you appear on my camera for me? I'm videoing. Can you make that go off again, what you made up to go off before? Oz. Is this your mu museum? Human. Human. Okay, this is mental. I'm just going to put this um, ovulus down here so I can spin this round. <clears throat> I thought this place was going to be nice and gentle and easy because it's a museum. Obviously not. There's shadows left, right and centre. There's knocks, there's bangs, there's scratches. There's noxus bangs, there's scratches, there's REM pods going off. The <clears throat> records, the ovulus has just said, there's records everywhere of everybody's death. It's a little bit uneasy, it really is. When the lights go out, it's really uneasy. The country. Are you trying to tell me your story through the ovulus? Can you make something else happen? Can you knock and bang on something? It, it does feel a little bit uneasy. It really does. The lights have gone out. And it's not the pretty museum that everybody sees anymore. It's, it's you and the spirits that wander. My name is Sean. I'm a paranormal investigator. The show that we make is called Ghost Dimension. We are here to find out if your physical presence 
is still here, but you are connected to these items. If you are, I would like to communicate with you. I'm going to walk around here. <coughs> Take this with me. Demon. Demon. As I said, I'm going to wander around here. What the hell was that? Hello? Hello? I don't think I can carry on in here. What? What is it? Are you the gorilla? Are you the monkey? That man, that looks so freaky. Actually looks like it's looking at me. Now that could have been me going a bit too close then. Can you turn it off in three? Oh, thank you, that was a bit sooner than I anticipated. It's going off again. It's going off again. The REM pod is going off again. I, I asked it a question to see if it was an intelligent uh, I asked it to see if it could communicate with me, tell me if it was connected to the... Did you hear that then? As I'm talking to you, there was like a... Like an animal, physical animal noise. And I'm actually seeing... Uh, my eyes are playing tricks on me in here. I, I feel like I'm seeing shadows, and if I am seeing shadows, then hopefully the shadow detector near the big... New star figure. We'll, uh, we'll pick that up. I'm going to um, call it a day in here because <coughs> it's spooking me up too much. There's things that I'm... There's things that I'm seeing and hearing and it's just... It's bizarre and it make, it's making me feel really uneasy. <coughs> Under... And I was going to go to the lower floor. I'm going to go to the lower floor and I'm going to see what I get there. Yeah, don't feel comfortable. Somebody's beside me. Hello? Yeah, somebody's beside me. I can feel it. I can feel the presence. It feels very warm right there. And there's clicks and bangs everywhere. 